In this episode, we will reveal unseen sides of our lives. You will find out what happened to our two old ranches. You also get to meet all our Finnish friends, including the mysterious fifth Dutzen. And finally, we'll reveal why we had to change our lives after the Dutzens in America. the first ranch we ever had here in St. Aoki, Western Finland, and uh, the last time we were there filming, we ended up blowing it down. So it's genuinely pretty exciting to see, is, it, is there anything left? What happened? Yeah, you know, this is the area where our ranch was, but there was none of these houses. Yeah, the whole area is new. Somewhere around here. You actually can see that white house in our movie, in our first season, I think. Kun katso niin tuo autotalli, joka on näin, niin se on aika tarkkaan siinä, mihin oli navetta. Niin, niin. Tältä kattoi vasemmalle oli se talo. Yes! So now we know. Now we know where it is. It's right there. Yep. Let's see if someone is home, right? Power River. Moi! Moi! Tiesitkö kuule, että mitä tässä on ollut ennen? Tässä on ollut talo, joka on kuulemma poltettu. Me tultiin lähinnä niin vaatimaan takaisin se, mikä meille kuuluu. Avaimme, kiitos. Good friend from childhood, Mikki. He was supposed to be one of the dudes, but football ruined him and he couldn't do the stunts. But he's the craziest one and he's a really, really good friend of ours. There's no place like home, soccer! <laughs> Hola! <laughs> yes! Hola! Purista! This is my godson. Mickey named him Jukka after one of the one of his heroes. Right. <laughs> Mickey was my first friend that I met in Sena Yoki. How did we meet, remember? I was the mean guy in school and Jukka was coming from the farm somewhere way beyond where human lives. <laughs> he came to the city, you know, big city Sena Yoki. And uh, then we choose like it's much more easier to pick somebody else than each other. <laughs> <laughs> so we are friends still. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, I mean, every time we were filming, before we did the dudes, we would be thinking like, well, wonder if I'm gonna jump this, how it's gonna, how, it, how am I gonna land and all that? And then Mickey comes in and says, like, cut the crap, let me just do it, and takes, you know, twice as much speed as it needs, and then he just does it. The thing is that you were always supposed to be the fifth dude, but then your coach said that you can do the stunt because you are too good playing soccer. Playing yeah. soccer. <laughs> Se 
Surprisingly, Mickey is not our only friend. We got a couple others as well. I'm the kind of guy that needs people around me. And I think that I've been uh, very fortunate in a way that the people I can call my friends are so genuine and real. Overall, friends are the most important thing in my life. My friends are like my family to me. They've always been like that. I have a huge group of friends around me all around the world, and, uh, and they're all really, really close to me, and I care about them very deeply. Our group of friends, we like to organize pranks or surprises for each other. the genuine good people that you can talk to, that you can share the deepest meanings of your life with, but also you can just go with the flow and get crazy with. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, there was a police in there. Then gave me a ticket for indecent exposure, and I think it was organized by these guys. MC Harma is a group of good friends that would do pretty much anything for each other. It's not a, not really a motorcycle club, even though we pretend to be. But it's more of a group of friends the kind of guys that I wouldn't change for anything. One thing that really shows how much I uh, appreciate the friendships that I have with my friends is a tattoo I just took. I'm gonna show it to you. MC Harma, rock and roll. That's something I take to my grave. And what that means to me is the friendship. Never leave friend behind. I've had points in my life when I really needed help and I really needed someone to talk to and, and help me get through some bad times. So I'm glad I have those friends that I can talk to and they come in when I need that help. Jukka aika harvinainen ihminen, että se elää elämää niinku enemmän niinku moni meistä. Ja kiitos, että sä ollut mukana. Kiitos. Woo! Tässä on mies, joka on omistanut elämässä tavoitteelleen. Ja... Siitä meillä on paljon kaikilla oppimista. Jukka on ollut tekemässä paljon pahoista asioista, hyviä asioita, tuella ja rakkaudella ja isolla sydämellä ja siitä mä oon sulla kiitollinen ystävä. I consider myself very lucky to have those friends and those people in my life. Next we're going to the place that probably all of you recognize. Yeah, the next place was our home for three summers. It's been years since the last time that we've been here. This was a heaven for us. So much fun, so many good things happened here. Like whatever would pop in our heads we could do in this property. Magic happened in this. Hey!
It's my first car. This is the first official Dutzens mobile. Hirmu 900. This car has seen it all. For the very first Dutzens stunts we did, like pulling a snow sled behind a car, we did it with this. Oh, this brings back memories. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I can't believe I went to that old prank. <laughs> it's so nice because it is just like we left it. 2009. This is from the last summer we spent here. Michael Jackson is dead. Let's see if this still works. Destroy the alien! There's no battery. <laughs> You've been wondering what happened to Mr. Hitler. As you know, Mr. Hitler was the man who used to bully us when we were children. And he's the worst man on earth. But we actually did something to him that kind of went overboard, and we, we had to settle it. And uh, I don't know, it's the worst thing we ever did. Got us into trouble. So we've been thinking for years, should we release this footage or not? And I think now it's the time to show it to you guys. We're close to Mr. Hitra's house. That way. It's early morning, and in about an hour, Mr. Hitler is going to work. Where is he going? Probably to pick up his mail. He thinks he's gonna stop. Can I see him? Just head running. My finger is on the trigger. He's 
the car. The guy is out. It's time to go. It's gonna be sweet! <laughs> We just arrived at the location, we're in Western Finland shooting our new show, Dutch's Home Invasion. It's uh, third season already and the third episode of this season. And there's a, there's a whole lot of people nowadays. I mean, it used to be just four of us shooting, but now we got a huge convoy of cars, prop team, camera guys, directors, sound people. This is it nowadays. I mean, look at all these people. You started doing Dutch's Home Invasion because of Dutch's America. Future in America was a huge dream come true for us. And we got to do all these big ideas that we've been planning on for so long. But we turn in there, shit hits the fan, everybody gets into an accident, breaks themselves, the production is struggling, and it's all, all of a sudden the whole house of cards collapses on us. And we're trying to make the best TV show ever, and our dream show. We gave it all. We did those huge stunts. And I think I even burn out. I was doing something like 300 hours per month working on that show. It wasn't what it was supposed to be. It never made it to the second season. At first, it was a big shock. I guess when we were doing Dutchess in America, we kind of lost some of that freedom which we had when we were filming in Finland. That was the point when we realized that you have to do something else. And uh, it was hard to admit that we actually have to come up with something new. And what we came up with was that, what if there would be a, like ordinary family which has a problem, and then we would come in and move into the family and would try to actually fix the problem. And the more we were thinking about that, it felt like that this is the best idea. <laughs> the new show due to his home invasion was actually something such a good fresh new start for us something fun and exciting and a whole new thing to do that it just gave us so much new energy and so much more excitement and smiles and something real to do in this world, something good. When the first episode aired in Finland, it tripled the ratings, the previous ratings we had. So it became overnight success. It was like, it was huge. Almost 20% of the Finnish population saw that first episode. And now we are doing already the third season. And what I love about doing the show is, you actually get to do something that feels good. You change these people's lives, but you do it in a very cool way. 
Wow. Nyt tuli ikävä. Sama meidän. Tämä on ollut mun elämän paras päivä. Niin munkin. Ei muuta kuin jatkaa samaan malliin. Kiitos kaikesta. Kiitti itsellenne. <laughs> the families give you so much at the same time. They're so open, so honest about their problems. That it also gets to you. I've cried in like most of the episodes. Ai elämä muuttu. Noin lapsien elämä muuttu. Niin nyt tila oikeesti. Jotain mihin tukeutua niin ihan loppu elämä. Ei rakas puikko. Ei tarvitse vastata sulla. Niin minä odotan. It's just such a ride that I've never had it before. Before we did this show. And I think this is easily the best show we've ever done. Still has the stunts, the attitude, the balls in it. But also the heart. We just, we really want to surprise people. You, you can pretty much expect anything. We want to do something which nobody has done. Family Riittinen, who has autistic twins, has invited us to help them. Dad Simon spends too much time with his work, and the family feels like they don't have a man in the house. We have only two days to fix their problems, and we're going to do it the dudes' time. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.